Hi everyone, uh, this is a video which I should have made months and months ago admittedly. Um, I believe this product was actually released around about the summer time. Uh, and the product I'm actually talking about is this one here. Made by a company called Estol and the product is called the X Moment. So if we backtrack a little while, before we go any further. You remember the first video I did about integrating with the Amazon Alexa was involved these, which are basically Wi-Fi switches, which do nothing apart from turn the A2Ds on or off. Okay, so that method just that method just uses smart switching. Um, you can't dim lights, anything like that. So this new version created by Estol is or offers full integration. Okay, you don't just turn things on and off, you can dim lights, change colors, etc. Set specific dimming levels. As you can see, it's a very small form factor. Um, I've got a TED right next to it just to give you the uh, idea of how big it is. This particular device was actually provided to me by a good friend of mine, Tom, from art for light in the Netherlands. Tom sells the majority of Kasambi enabled partner products, as well as the standard white Kasambi products. Um, so I could definitely recommend him for any purchases within the EU, especially for partner products. So after just checking this morning, this the Estol website specifically says actually that the the Amazon Echo, which can be used with this version, needs to be third generation onwards, which I found a little difficult to believe because I actually have the original first generation Amazon Echo, which is the tall cylindrical model, and it works perfectly fine. There are multiple different models available. It depends how many channels that you want to control with the X Moment device. There is a 4 channel option, 8 channel option, 12, 16 and a 20 channel option. And this particular device is the 20 channel option. Um, there's no physical difference though. It's the same physical size regardless of how many channels you, uh, you operate. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned straight away was it's operated or it's powered by USB okay it's a very low power 5 volts um, this I really liked it's really handy because I power my own via the USB port on my uh, internet router it doesn't require a separate power supply plugged into a, an out, a wall outlet I won't go into too much detail about how you install it but I'll put a link to the user guide and installation guide in this video's description for you to read. In short though, you simply um, connect to the XMoment device directly via Wi-Fi. You then connect the XMoment device to your own Wi-Fi, to your house Wi-Fi. Um, then set up the amount of channels that you want to con control. You, on either the, during, and you do this via the, a web interface directly onto the XMoment device or you can install a separate app and do it via the app. You simply choose a name for each of the different channels and this is what you are then passing on to the Alexa system. Then you pair it to your Kasambi network and you'll then see these settings in the Kasambi app. And the list, again in my case with having a 20 channel device, I see 20 different options. I can then select the 20 scenes or devices which I want to dim on and off. Once I've selected the channels in the Kasambi app, then you can go ahead and connect the devices to the your Amazon Alexa. At that point, you should then be able to use voice operated control. So that's it, simple little device. However, let's talk about pricing now. And I'm afraid this is where you're going to want to sit down. So a four channel device costs 179 euros, eight channel is 213, 12 channel is 259, 16 channel is 299, and the 20 channel, again, which is this one, costs 319 euros. So not cheap at all. Um, you could even argue that it's, you know, it's even so much more expensive than uh, the Alexa itself. However, it does fully integrate. It's not just an on and off switch. Um, you know, you've got full control of your uh, Kasambi devices this time. 